it, <clears throat> that should be the gap fill. All right, 75 and a half. One of the reasons I put this chart out here so we can see where we, we closed at the natural time, you know, at the quarter after four. And then the lower portion, you know, where, where the gap down to the day open may, may be <clears throat> the idea of trying to trap traders. So I want to, I want to respect the 75 zone. I'm not saying you have to buy it, but I am saying you want to respect, start to show some respect in here at that 75, my feeling. Anyway, it's a good trade. If, if you took the short side, once the momentum starts, you just try to get into the rhythm and look to see us get into that 77 to 75, actually 78 and a quarter area. And anything below that's the good fortune part. And then be very careful today about overstaying. And all we need is one good trade. And hit and run usually pre market, but you get a news event and you're gonna you're gonna milk it for a few minutes. And these straight down poles can get snapbacks too. So in my opinion, <clears throat> Um, we want to be aware of yesterday's low, obviously, yesterday's angel. And the idea that we've had a pretty good swing overnight. And the 60-minute chart, probably the best chart to help for the early morning uh, weakness. And the goal today is don't get caught. And I could be totally wrong. We could go flying down there 100 points. Who knows? <laughs> Certainly nobody knows. My guess is that, you know, we've already had good fortune coming down there. And that's the way I want to treat this trade. That I said I'm going to be conservative today. So anytime I can get the half cap and gap and get it early and in my pocket, and get on the phone and call somebody if they want to go play golf. 